Very well then. Uh, I'm only too happy to put your doubts to rest. All right, welcome back to another video. And today I want to talk about Mayfix's Catwoman, the Batman Hush version. This is Jim Lee's artwork brought to life, just like they did with Batman, Superman, Poison Ivy, all the others in this line. Let me tell you, fabulous. Now I waited on picking up this figure because I just passed on her the first time. Then she came around, and I'm like, you know what? Let me let me let me grab her this time. So I picked her up and here she is so let's give her a look-see and see all the cool things that she comes with because she does come with a plethora of stuff now before we get started as you guys all know or maybe not know that the original Catwoman in the old uh, Batman series Adam West when he played Batman Eartha Kitt was the original Catwoman and then it went Michelle there was somebody else before Michelle Pfeiffer in the series, but then Michelle Pfeiffer played Catwoman in the movie. I know I'm jumping ahead. Um, and then you had, um, I can't think of the other name. But anyway, this is the comic book version of Catwoman. And yeah, none, none as ruthless as this Catwoman right here. I mean, the way she was written, the way she's drawn, just awesome. She's a badass. So with that being said, guys, let's get into taking a look on how she looks. I mean, and, and, and paint and everything with this figure. So starting off, you have Catwoman, if I can get her to focus. <laughs> I mean, the face sculpt is just amazing. I like what they did with it. You can see the eyes behind the goggles, even though they don't push up. You have the classic goggles on the face, along with, you know, the cat ears. You have the um, <clears throat> loop right here where she pulls down for the zipper that goes all the way through the front of her, her bodysuit. And yeah, she's casted in all in black. The cool thing is like this part here, she has an alternate torso, which I'll show off. But you can see the belt buckle right here on the front of her. And then you come down to her gloves. And yes, you can see her claws on her hands. And that, I thought was really cool. That is really cool to see that she has the um, <clears throat> cat claws. And they are a little sharp. But yeah, she is a cat burglar, so you know, and hence the name Catwoman. And then moving down the legs to her boots, I like the fact that they did the buckles, and I love the fact the way they did the, the gray soles on the bottom of her boots. Yeah, a nicely done figure by Mayfax, I have to say. The strap going around for her, her goggles right here, for her eyes. Nice lipstick, it's not sloppy painted on, just fairly nicely done. And you know, the fact that this doesn't move and that you actually have those eyes back there and they're painted, that's just fabulous. So however they did this, you know, they probably did this first and then pegged this on or glued it on or however, but that's awesome. Very, very awesome. Um, I have not had the chance to really mess with her. So I'm gonna try and give her um, a cool, like posing because she does have some um i mean she she moves smoothly so I, I shouldn't have any issues trying to put her in some type of pose for you guys um you know catwoman style so to speak but yeah she she definitely like that right there just a quick 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 little pose right there on catwoman which is actually really really good and like I said she falls right into you know right into posing without any issue I mean she's got her double jointed elbows and you know, she has her waist articulation uh, you know she has an upper torso twist and then yeah I mean <laughs> kicking wise I mean she can definitely <laughs> definitely keep up with the best of them I can tell you that much I mean you want to have her doing like a high kick right like an act front axe kick I mean that right there is just amazing just just amazing right there that I can actually get her to the kick so let me see if I can actually get her to do do this real quick so if I wanted her to actually you know what let's just keep her arms bent so yeah, if she wanted to axe kick somebody, she can. I mean, that's just a crazy, crazy, crazy range right there that she has. Side kick, turn her leg over. 
bring this in a little bit, turn the ankle over just slightly, turn this foot out. I mean, and I know I don't have the right hands on here, but still, even for like a side kick, I mean, that's just amazing. <laughs> that is amazing. She's just really, really gonna, that's some range that she can get. Jumping wise, like for a flying knee kick, yeah, she 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 has the range. That's the that's the cool that's the cool part about all this. Like you can have her jumping in the air, throwing a kick, get her reaching out. Yeah, I mean she's busting somebody's head open with that big time. That right there is just absolutely amazing. The the, the range that that this girl has um, to pose her to get her to look the way that she does. It's just awesome. I mean, the, the Mayfex does amazing work when it comes to these figures, I have to honestly say. And I have the Batman Hush, I have the Superman Hush. I did a Batman um, Hush review. It's on the channel, it's not the greatest, but if you wanna check it out, by all means. It was back when I first started doing all this. So, I mean, yeah, she definitely, definitely, this one can pose about, about the Batman yet. Yeah, check it out. It's just when I first started. But yeah, that's that's actually pretty cool. If I had her whip in her hand, stuff like that. Um, yeah. I mean, she's just... You could put her into everything. And you guys all know I'm horrible at posing. But man, she can just drop right into any type of pose that I can get her into um, with ease. You know, like if I wanted to get her kind of get ready to jump up out of the way, there she is, right? That's, it's just amazing. Just amazing on how she moves. All right, enough of my, <laughs> enough of my rambling. I showed her off. She does have some great, great articulation when it comes to um, posing and moving around with the ankle articulation and, and the, the double knees and, and so she doesn't have like, she has the upper like hip swivel right here. She doesn't have a thigh and she does not have that boot, but she does have this boot swivel down at the bottom here, um, part of the ankle articulation. And she does have some great butterfly joints on her. So yeah, I have to say, I'm really impressed with this figure right here, man. I'm glad I picked her up. I'll put her with my, uh, my Batman, uh, you know, cause you know, they're just two star-crossed lovers. But anyway, let's get into taking a look at some of the accessories that Catwoman comes with. Because she does come with a few things, man. She comes with like six sets of hands, two different head sculpts, and a different waist sculpt. So let's get in and take a look at that stuff. And, uh, you know, we'll end the review. Starting off, we have Catwoman's fists. And I love the fact that Mayfex actually puts them on these little clear pegs so they're not just rambling around loose rummaging around loose in the um in the plastic uh clamshell but nice just two sets of fists just all casted in black next we have her whip holding hands or thumbs up or pushing up her goggle type hands next we have her pointy finger hands next we have her cat scratching or clawing type hands Next, we have a set of open hands or diving at you type hands. And of course, we already have these hands right here where they're just open, relaxed type hands on the figure itself. Now, the thing I wanna show off also is that you see she has that belt right there and that waist. Well, she comes with this waist right here. I can get this thing to focus, there we go. So she comes with this waist right here and you see the belt buckle now this wrap around is her whip. And I thought that was really cool. So you can see the end of the whip right there. So it was cool that they actually added this in. So you actually have to pop the top of the torso off and the bottom part, this pulls out. They're in there by a ball peg. So you just pop them out, pop this in, and there you go. You have the whip wrapped around her waist if you're not gonna have the whip in her hand. Next we have her angry face or gritting teeth type face. And once again, Eyes are painted behind the goggles, which is actually really awesome. I mean, they just do some great work. 
the makeup uh, as far as like the lipstick on her lips and then the gritting teeth nothing of as far as paint is running into anything and then of course the gray band going across the back of the head just fabulous work and then we have the uh, goggles pushed up face sculpt and I think this is just awesome I mean just absolutely beautiful work I can only imagine what Jim Lee's thoughts are when he actually sees these figures to see his artwork brought to life like this from the comic books to an actual action figure from Batman Superman all the figures in this line I mean look at that that's just a beautiful, beautiful head sculpt. Paint, everything. I mean, even they did the little bald right here for the back of her ears, you know, her ears right here in the mask. I mean, that's just amazing. A little bit of hair, goggles are pulled up. I mean, yeah, just, they, yeah. I just have to say, they just do some great, great work. Beautiful, just beautiful. Last but not least, we have Catwoman's Whip. And it's just kind of like a light grayish, color and it's you know it's molded like this it's not a bendy wire or anything and then this is the end right here where she's actually going to hold it you can see it has this like a uh, little bit of a guard right there but this is the end of the whip where you would actually put this part in her hand so that's pretty cool i mean they included her whip yeah it's it's molded like that it would have been cool if it was a bendy wire so you could oh oh it comes apart i didn't even know that hmm that's uh Okay, that was a happy accident. Wasn't expecting that, but I guess the whip does come apart into little pieces. I guess you can make it shorter than what you want. I, yeah, I don't know, but that's that's really cool because there's no instructions on it, on how it goes, but I guess that's how they had to piece it together, I guess. But anyway, this is the whip. Before I forget, she also comes with this great stand by Mayfex. It's just clear plastic, which most standard Mayfex stands come with these figures. All right, so now that we've taken a look at the figure, we've taken a look at her accessories and everything that she comes with, I will say this. I did take a better look at this whip, and the whip does come apart, so you can actually articulate it in different ways. So that's actually pretty cool that it does come apart like that. I didn't know it did that until I accidentally pulled it apart during the review. So, yeah, so here we are, and this is, you know, what I find, which is cool. Don't get me wrong. It's always great to find happy little things like that when you're doing a review. Now, you can pose it however you want and do whatever you want with the whip and however it's gonna go. It, I do find that there's only certain little selections you can do with it, but that's cool that you still have that choice to be able to do that with the figure. I mean, she poses like butter, I have to say. This figure is just amazing, amazing. Now, I have other Mafex figures, and let me tell you something, I've never complained about the way that they pose. Uh, they, yes. They absolutely have some great posability. This is how a figure should be able to pose. Now this is a high-end uh, collector's figure, so it's therefore you get what you pay for. And she was $80 when I picked her up. I think when she first came out, she was going for like 120 something, maybe 130 something. So I got her at a little bit of a lower price off of BBTS. Not too bad, I have to say. It is an older figure. You guys have probably seen this review a bunch of times you know, on YouTube. But I finally got mine in and I wanted to do this review to show her off because she is just amazing. And if you are a fan of Jim Lee's artwork and you are a fan of that comic, Hush, and if you have not read it, do yourself a favor, get out there, read it. It is a great, great storyline. Fabulous, fabulous storyline. Don't, don't, don't do that to yourselves and go through life not reading this story because it is a great story. Now, with that being said, guys, I do not have anybody out to compare her to, so I do apologize for that. It's been crazy week, crazy, crazy week, so that's why this one's a little bit late getting out. It is Halloween week, so guys, have a blast out there with your kids. Kids, have a blast out there with your parents trick-or-treating. All be safe. Everybody be safe. And uh, yeah, I mean, hopefully you guys got some really cool costumes out there, and you guys get lots of candy and have lots of fun out there. Just be safe with everything that's going on in this world for us to be able to still go out and trick-or-treat with our kids or our kids will be able to go trick-or-treat with their parents it's a blessing let's just say that so with that being said guys i hope you enjoyed this video please like subscribe share and as always leave a comment down below hit that notification bell so you never miss out on anything new that i am putting up and as always i'll catch you all on the flip 100 from one to 100 i give it 100 that was good